this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are bringing you the gaming review for the Galaxy S9. And this is really a good one because we are testing out some new games that just came out over the past two months. So some really good ones. And even the uh, entry level one is an updated version. So we're gonna go through uh, Dual Links to start off with to ease it in, then Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition, then uh, Street Fighter 4, and then the new Legends game from Shadowgun. So let's go ahead and test all of these out and see how they do. And I'll let you guys know if I see any frame rate dropping. Oh yeah, this one's portrait actually. And I'll turn the volume off in all these games just so it doesn't get flagged or anything like that. But let's just have a quick match. And you can see like the animation's really smooth uh, since this update came about. Let's just start a match. And I'm just gonna play around, just again to see more of the animation style on it, but looking smooth. So very simple, very easy. And just kind of see now in high speed how it looks. And no real issues. All right. Now let's try out the next game. And this is gonna be Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition. Now this is supposed to be pretty much like the entire Final Fantasy 15 game and I did download the entire thing to it. Also, one thing important to note, of course, you have different things you can do with this. So full screen is one thing that I did to uh, most of these apps already just so you get the full experience and also seeing if that has any issue with it. So let's go ahead and see how it looks. Let's load the game. And this is, before anyone asks, the Snapdragon 845 version of it. So, how was I getting there? Oh, wrong way. I think it was around that I had to go. So you can see him moving. Uh, I saw some stutter right there. Let's see how it is when I go into a match. All right. Now let's see how it is. Uh, some stuttering. And I just started playing this game, so I'm not trying to cast spells or do any of the other combos or anything like that. So right now I'm just repeating attack. So no real issue when it came to gameplay, but again, I did notice that stutter twice. So again, just know that. Um, overall in the actual like, you know, cutscenes and all that stuff, you don't have anything, whoa. Uh, but just in the gameplay itself, it seemed to have some issues. All right. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna close, since that one was a bigger game, I will close that one out just so we have it. By the way, if you don't know how to get your tabs like this, make sure to check out our hidden features video. All right, now next one is Street Fighter. So obviously this is a game where you need to be on point and needs to move quickly. Again, I made this one full screen. So we'll see how it gets. And again, all this is in performance, so. I don't like the angle of this game. Is it just me if anyone else plays this uh, version of Street Fighter? I just do not like the angle of it. Whoa. And unfortunately the controllers that I had um, were having some issues so that's why I didn't use the controller. Oh, sh damn it, Phelan. Whoa, that wasn't what I meant to do. So very responsive. I don't feel like I'm missing on frame rates. Now, if you're a professional gamer or anything like that, you might notice frame rate missing. I don't really notice it. I feel that it is pretty much exact to my touch. Um, however, the game itself, I just, I don't like the angle. And 
this is a fighting game. You want to use a controller better off, but um, controllers I had here were having an issue pairing to it, so I just wanted to get this video up for you guys. But in terms of actual like tapping and firing and everything like that, seems pretty on point, but dang. Now while I'm talking, and again, I'm looking through the camera, so give me a break on timing. Uh, but overall, pretty good. Um, just, yeah, I, I, it's more of the game. I, the fighting style does lag it here and there, uh, but overall, at least the button pressing is pretty responsive. So let me know what you guys think for it. I don't know what that is, that new move, but it's a very finish kind of move. All right, now let's get to the last one, and that is going to be first person shooter, third person shooter, sorry. Or, no, 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 this is first person. The original was third person. Uh, so this is a new game, uh, just came out, I want to say two days ago. Uh, so I'm just playing the story mode right now. I'm not going into the full on, uh, you know, PVP. Uh, but again, just to kind of show the quality of it. Um, this one freaked out when I was using the controller, so I'm not sure if they just haven't mapped it yet or maybe just certain controllers are needed for it right now. But the old version, the old game, uh, Shadow Gun, worked really good with the controller. But this version just seemed to have some issues. So let's get a look. All right, guys, now we got the mission started. So let's see how well it does. Did it the first time, but auto firing was on. So I want you guys to see exactly how it actually is. Oh, while I run into that. Obviously you'd want to do this with a controller if you can, but again, the controllers I had before were like malfunctioning or not working. So let's go see how it is. But overall, Seems pretty responsive to me. No issues. All right, so let me know what you guys think. Again, if you feel that there was lag and I didn't really notice it or see it, let me know in the comment section down below. For this game though, it didn't notice at least any lag. But again, if you guys saw something, then let me know in the comment section. Overall, uh, I do think this was good. I uh, wouldn't say it was the biggest upgrade from the 835 though, to be honest. Um, the games where it really seemed to have issues with was Final Fantasy 15, and I did have it to the highest frame rate possible. I just put the settings to max frame rate and uh, to highest graphic quality, so that one did lag a little bit out of the four. Overall though, um, again, I don't know if it's that big of an improvement from the 835 to the 845 graphically, uh, but I haven't had any issues with these games. If you have other suggestions and different games we should use for future game interviews, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will test those out for the new games next time uh, we have a new phone. And overall, again, I don't know if the Exynos would have done that much worse. Uh, traditionally, graphics are supposed to be better on the Snapdragon, but not really sure if this was that big of an improvement compared to last year, so who knows. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.